Boy, I'm not long had my 28th birthday, and boy did I get a treat. I got these. All 12, if you follow my Twitter, you would have seen this. All 12 Darren Shan Saga books in the box set. This is my childhood in book form. The amount of lunch breaks I spent at school reading Darren Shan, or I was uh, maybe 14 or 15, reading Darren Shan books. I would check them out at the library, the school library. I'd read them on my lunch, I'd take them home, I'd read them on the bus home, I'd read them at home. I would stay up all night reading them. Sometimes I was like a zombie in school the next day because I was up so late reading these books. These are a nostalgia trip for me. So we're going to start with the first one, Cirque the Freak, book number one in the saga. Uh, the saga is split into trilogies. So there's the Blood Trials trilogy, the Vampire Prince trilogy. I can't remember all of them, but they're named certain things. And uh, there's four trilogies because there's 12 books. And Cirque the Freak is the first book in the entire saga, the first book in the first trilogy. And it's basically, it just details Darren Shan, who is the, the character, not the author. Darren Shan, this boy from a regular town, he has a regular family, he goes to a regular school, he has regular friends, does regular things. And one day at his school, one of his friends comes in with a, a, a leaflet for a freak show. And he plots with his friends to pull together their, 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 their pocket money and get a bit of extra money, borrow a bit of extra money from their parents and stuff. And they're going to go and they're going to buy a couple of tickets to this freak show. And Darren Shan does not know that this freak show will change his life forever and not for the better. Uh, so he goes to this freak show and trying not to spoil anything for you guys as usual. But he goes to this freak show, there, there, there's a fall in with a vampire, there's a poisonous spider involved, you know. And it's very, very entertaining to read. It is very intriguing, suspenseful. You don't know what's going to happen at any, any given moment. You genuinely feel concern for the characters when they're in peril. You genuinely... Characters change over time as well. For instance, the character of uh, Larton Crepsley or The Horton as he's also referred to in the book, he goes from being this hated, sort of hateable, creepy, scary character. By the end of the book, he's almost... He's almost liked, you know. He's almost he's almost a hero of the book. Despite some of his actions being less than heroic in the first book, he becomes kind of this... this anti-hero by the end of Cirque de Freak. And that's very interesting how the characters arc. And the character of Steve Leonard, also known as Steve Leopard as well, he, he goes from being just a kind of rogue child, you know, a rebellious, lovable teen, kind of a, a, a Harry Dean type, to being downright despicable by the end of the book. Again, again I'm trying not to ruin anything for you guys if, if you haven't, haven't read it, but really, if you haven't read it, I recommend you do. So Steve Leopard goes from being this kind of lovable rogue character that's kind of, you know, he, he, he's warm in personality, but his, de his deeds are are wrong, and you know they're wrong, but they're harmless. And they're, he's lovable because of his, his rebellious attitude. And then he transforms into this downright despicable character. Almost cowardly, I'd say, by the end. But uh, he changes completely. Darren Shan himself, his character is pretty consistent. From start to finish, he, he's loyal to his friends. He cares about his family and their well-being and his friends and their well-being. He puts he puts others before himself a lot of the time. You know, things like that. He's Other than that, he's, he's just an average kid, just an average you know boy who wants to have fun. And he will rebel, rebel when he feels like there's fun to be had in it or when he feels like it's necessary. He will rebel against authority. But ultimately, from start to finish, Darren Shan's... The main character's character, his personality, doesn't change all that much from start to finish. But obviously, I, I dare say, throughout the trilogy, throughout the not just this trilogy, but the entire saga, his character will change substantially as he goes on this journey that he's been set on by the end of Cirque de Freak. But the, really, reading this again was really, really a massive nostalgia trip for me. So that was Cirque de Freak, the saga of Darren Shan, book number one by Darren Shan, 
Definitely, guys. I don't care how old you are. I'm 28 now. I'm still reading these like I'm 14, 15. You know, I've got like, my, my wife next to me and I've got the torchlight on under the covers reading it. It is so entertaining for adult or young adult or teen, whatever. Just pick it up. Just read it. Just read it. I have 100%. It's got to be 100, guys, because it's just our pure nostalgia for me. I would have to give it 100. This is my childhood in book form.